Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today we're going to be going over the top 10 coolest sports cars in Grand Theft Auto Online in 2022. Now this is not necessarily the fastest sports cars. Some of these cars will be some of the fastest sports cars. Others are just ones that I think are very cool. And that's pretty much the only criteria for this list. They just have to be a pretty cool car. Some of them are kind of underrated as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started with number 10. Starting off at number 10, we have the Enus Paragon R. Now this actually does have an armored version of it that you guys can get for completing all of the casino missions, which is pretty interesting. Otherwise, this thing is gonna cost you $900,000 and the only way to get that armored version is by doing those casino missions, just so you guys are aware. Now the Enus Paragon R is a super realistic looking car. Obviously, you guys can probably tell it looks an awful lot like a Bentley Continental GT Super Sports or just a regular Continental GT, depending on the customization that you put on this thing. It's got a lot that you can do to it, and the armored variant can even be equipped with front-mounted machine guns, which is pretty cool. It is also a top 15 fastest sports car around a circuit in Grand Theft Auto Online, so that is pretty cool. This thing is pretty quick, it's all wheel drive, it handles nicely, it accelerates well, and it has a pretty decent top speed as well, on top of all of that. The Enus Paragon R is definitely a car that I recommend picking up. It is a pretty solid one to own. That's pretty much it for the Paragon R, let's move on to number 9. Next up at number 9 we have the Benefactor SM722, which was added with the Criminal Enterprises DLC that just came out in Grand Theft Auto Online. It is based off of the 2009 Mercedes-Benz SLR Sterling Moss, that's what the SM stands for in the 722, and I believe 722 is the racing number that Sterling Moss actually used. Now the SM722 is a little bit on the expensive side. This thing goes for just over $2.1 million, which is quite a lot of money. And especially for the performance, it is a lot because this thing doesn't exactly have the best performance ever. It does have a very good top speed and the acceleration is quite nice. The handling is also what I would describe as fun. I wouldn't necessarily say it's very good, but it's good for having fun if that makes sense. Uh, it does tend to slide out a lot and it is a pretty easy car to drift. So that does make this thing a little bit more of a challenge to drive. So if you like challenging cars, this might be one that you want to pick up. I do think it is also a really unique design for a car. Um, obviously, it's pretty unique in real life, but it's also quite unique even in GTA where we have crazy rocket bikes and stuff like that. I think that this thing looks fantastic, and I would definitely say that I recommend picking it up if you guys are interested in getting a new sports car that's kind of unique and kind of different from the rest. That's pretty much it for the SM722. Let's move on to number eight. Next up at number eight, we have, oh my God, Jesus. What's going on here? Okay. Next up and number eight, we have the Grotti Itali RSX. Now the Grotti Itali RSX is one of the fastest sports cars in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'd place it definitely within the top five, probably within the top four. This car is really good. It does have a bit of a broken downforce characteristic as discovered by Bruffy1322 on YouTube. If you guys are interested, go check him out. He has videos talking about how this car is broken and stuff like that. So if you guys want to know more about it, go check him out. Now this thing does come in at quite a cost. This is an expensive ass car. I believe that this is actually the most expensive car in GTA other than the open wheel cars that isn't weaponized. The RSX goes for $3.5 million if you do not have the trade price unlocked and it goes for 2.6 if you do have the trade price unlocked which is insanely expensive no matter how you slice it. Even if you have the trade price for this thing it's still an insanely expensive car. So that is something to be considered and that is definitely being considered as to where this thing is ranked on this list. I was considering ranking this thing actually at number one, but I decided because of the price, it is not really deserving of being at the number one spot because cost wise, this thing is just not really that fair just for how much performance you get out of it. Yes, it is one of the fastest cars in the game, but you can get a lot more performance out of a car for a lot less money in GTA. So I figured that I would rank it a little bit higher. Now the RSX is pretty heavily based off of the new Ferrari SF90 Stradale, which is a pretty cool car in real life. And this thing definitely is, you know, similarly fast to that car, I would say. Uh, it does have very, very good acceleration. This thing also has a fantastic top speed. The only thing that this thing kind of suffers from is kind of bad handling. And like I said, with the downforce thing that Bruffy discovered, it kind of makes sense why this thing doesn't handle super well. Now I do like the RSX. I do think it is slightly an overrated car. A lot of people think this thing is better than 
than it is and it's just not quite there but it is still really cool it has great customization it has great acceleration and a great top speed the only thing that i really don't like about it is just the handling it's not that great when it comes to that but everything else is pretty cool about this car so anyway guys that's pretty much it for the Grotti Itali RSX. At number eight, let's move on to number seven. Next up at number seven, we have the Ubermacht Cypher. Now, if you guys are fans of realistic looking cars, the Ubermacht Cypher uh, it, it doesn't really get much more realistic looking than this thing. The Cypher is very heavily based off of a BMW 2 Series. Now, you can dress this thing up with lots of customization to make it look more like an M2. You can make it look more like an M240i, an M235i. Whatever you guys want to do with this thing, you can pretty much do. However, what I will say is it does definitely have the performance of the BMW M2. This thing is quite quick. It was added with the Tuners DLC and it goes for a pretty reasonable price of $1.2 million if you have the trade price unlocked and if you don't have the trade price unlocked it goes for $1.5 million. This is a really really good car. It does everything quite well. The handling is super good. It feels great. This thing over bumps as well. It doesn't get disturbed very much by them. It is a fantastic car to drive. I actually love my Ubermach Cypher. Racing wise the Ubermach Cypher is not going to do too well because it was added with the Tunis DLC and those cars are just not that fast in comparison to the rest of the sports category but as a free mode car this thing is absolutely awesome and if you like customizing cars the Ubermark Cypher has tons of customization because of course like I said it was added with the Tunis DLC. So that's pretty much it for the Ubermark Cypher. This thing is awesome in pretty much every way and I would highly recommend picking it up if you guys have some spare money. That's it for number seven let's move on to number six. Next up at number six, we have the Dubachi Masakro. Now this is the cheapest car on this list by a long shot coming in at $275,000. And it's based very heavily off of an Aston Martin Vanquish in real life, likely a 2013, 2014 type of model. Um, I think that this is truly one of the best looking cars in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. And of course it is in the sports category, so you know I had to put it on this list. The Dubaji Masako drives absolutely amazingly for the cost. $275,000, you literally cannot go wrong with this thing. It is so cheap by today's standards in GTA. And the performance is pretty good for the money as well. This thing does have pretty good acceleration, it has pretty good handling as well, and a decent top speed for the sports category. This thing was added all the way back in I believe 2015, maybe 2016. So it's been around in the game for quite some time and there's a pretty good chance that a lot of you older players know about this car, but for people who are new, you might not know much about the Dubachi Masakro and, and that is why I included it in this video because this thing does not get the love that it deserves. It's an absolutely awesome car and you can fully kit it out with racing modifications to make it handle even better. It's just a great car generally and I would highly recommend picking this thing up. If you guys have any space in your garage, if you have any money in GTA, pick up a Dubachi Masako. This car absolutely deserves to be in your garage. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for the Dubachi Masako at number six. Let's move on to number five. Next up at number five, we have the Obey Omni EGT. Now you guys have probably seen me talk about this car a lot. It is an absolutely fantastic one. And it's another one that was added with the Criminal Enterprises DLC just a few months ago into Grand Theft Auto Online. Now the Obey Omni EGT, as you might have guessed, is an electric vehicle, meaning that it has absolutely fantastic acceleration. This thing is super quick off the line. It does have a pretty weak top speed because of this though. And also because it's an electric car, the handling could be a little bit better. I find generally the electric cars in GTA do not handle that well. However, that's not really why you're buying the Obey Omni EGT. You're buying this thing for what it can do for you. And what it costs is $1.8 million, which is a lot of money. But when I get into the features of this car, you're going to understand why you're going to want it. First of all, as you guys can probably tell on the size of this thing, it has an armor upgrade. And on top of this, it also has Imani Tech. Now, the Imani Tech upgrades that it has are, of course, the missile lock-on jammer and the remote control device. Both of these are equipable on this car. And with the armor, you can take 12 RPGs or 12 homing missiles so long as you are inside of the vehicle. If you're not inside the vehicle, it will die in far less than that. But also, it does have the missile lock-on jammer. So this means that Oppressor Mark IIs, Hydras, Jets, Helis, whatever you got, cannot lock onto your car and not get missiles after you that are tracking you, which is super useful. And on top of that, even if they do manage to hit you with a random missile, you're still going to be able to survive for quite a long time because like I said, it does have quite good armor. Being able to take 12 homing missiles or of course 12 RPGs, it is very, very strong. 
So that's pretty much it for the Obey Omni EGT. That's why you buy this car. It is in the sports category. So I figured that I would include it. I figured it was an important one to include. I'm trying to include all kinds of different sports cars. So I thought this thing was definitely deserving of being in this list. So that's it for number five. Let's move on to number four. Next up at number four, we have the Ocelot Locust coming in at $1.6 million. Now, this is a very unique car in GTA, and it's one that I completely overlooked in all my years of playing GTA, which is very odd because I actually have found that this is truly one of my favorite vehicles in the entire game. I absolutely love the Ocelot Locust. Now for $1.6 million, there are cars that have better performance. For just a little bit more money, you can get cars that have better performance. But the Ocelot Locust is an absolutely amazing handling car. I love driving this thing around. I love cornering with it. I love taking it into the hills and driving around with it. It absolutely shreds. It has decent enough acceleration to be fun when it's straight, and it's got good enough acceleration to where it doesn't spin out in the corners, which is really, really nice. This thing handles insanely well. I can't tell you how well it handles. I have a full customization and review on this car if you guys are interested where I go a little bit more in depth on the handling and just how good it is. The top speed on this car does kind of suffer a little bit because it is very acceleration and handling dominant, but you don't really want this thing for top speed anyways. You want it because it handles so damn well. It's also got a good amount of customization, not as much as I would have liked, for example. I would have liked to actually be able to include a roof on the top of this thing, but you can't really do that. However, there is a lot that you can do still. So the Ocelot Locust is a car that I would recommend picking up. For $1.6 million, you can't go wrong with this thing. It's an absolutely fantastic vehicle. That's it for number four. Let's move on to number three. Next up at number three, we have the brand new Obey 10F. Now this thing is absolutely fantastic looking. It is, of course, in the sports car category, very similar to its predecessor, which was, of course, the Obey 9F. Now, the Obey 10F basically improves on the 9F in every way, except this thing's rear-wheel drive only, which I find to be kind of odd because the original 9F was all-wheel drive. Now, I know they have rear-wheel drive Audi R8s now, which is pretty cool, but I thought that this thing was going to be all-wheel drive. I was actually really hoping that it was because I think that it would improve this car a lot. However, it still is very, very good. Now, the 10F does come at a bit of a cost, coming in at $1.7 million. So it is a little on the expensive side, but at the same time, for the performance that you get with this thing, it's absolutely awesome. This thing is within the top 20 fastest sports cars around a circuit. It has fantastic handling. The acceleration is also absolutely insane, and the top speed is quite good as well. On top of that, it's got lots of customization and it even has a lot of new carbon fiber options that we got with the Criminal Enterprises DLC. As you guys can see, my car is fully decked out with this new carbon fiber, and I think that it looks absolutely awesome. The new Obey 10F is definitely a car that I recommend having in GTA Online nowadays. It is really, really good, and it's a really fun car to drive. Overall, I think it's just fantastic, and that you should probably pick one up if you got some extra money laying around and you got some extra garage space. That's pretty much it for the Obey 10F. Let's move on to number two. Next up, we have the Karen S95. Now, I know you guys probably weren't expecting to see this thing on this list. This, of course, does have an HSW upgrade that you can do on top of it. And the regular Karen S95 goes for about $2 million unless you got it for free when you signed up on the new Xbox Series X or S or the PlayStation 5 consoles. Obviously, this thing is exclusive to the expanded and enhanced edition of Grand Theft Auto Online, meaning that nobody on PC or last gen can get it, which is kind of a bummer. That's why I put it pretty high up in the list so that hopefully you guys would find some cars that you like before you saw this thing. Now at number one, we still do have a car that is on PC, just so you guys are aware. Now the Karen S95 is one of the fastest sports cars in the entire game. When you put the HSW upgrade on that car, it becomes the second fastest car around a circuit in Grand Theft Auto Online, which is pretty insane. And it does have one of the highest top speeds in the entire game out of any of the sports cars. With the HSW upgrade, it is actually the fastest sports car in the entire game. So that is a pretty cool feature of this thing. Now the handling on the other hand, it is a little bit slidey, but it's manageable. It's definitely a manageable car. I still like it a lot. I think that it's a pretty fantastic car and I'm really happy that I have it on the expanded and enhanced edition now. Like I said, the handling could be better. The acceleration though is fantastic and so is the top speed. It does have lots of customization as well. So if you guys are interested, this is definitely a car that I would recommend picking up for sure. 
Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the Karen S95. And number two, it's time to get into number one. All right, guys, and at number one, you probably saw this coming. You know how much I absolutely love this car. This is, of course, the Grotti Itali GTO, and it comes in at about $1.9 million. And this is the fastest sports car in Grand Theft Auto Online around a circuit. The Grotti Itali GTO is not a car that everybody likes in GTA. I am quite biased in saying this, but it truly is the fastest sports car around a circuit. I'm not biased in saying that. This thing is absolutely awesome. It might not be for you, but statistically it is the best sports car in Grand Theft Auto Online in terms of racing performance. The acceleration is absolutely fantastic on this car. It is super, super fast. The top speed is also pretty good. It is a little bit weaker than some of the other cars that we've gone over on this list, like the Grotti Itali RSX, for example. It does have a better top speed than the Grotti Itali GTO. However, this thing does have proper downforce and it does have very good handling. This car also gets a bonus. This car also gets a boost from going over bumps, which is quite odd. The more bumps you go over in the GTO, the faster the car gets, which is pretty insane and it's pretty odd. The only problem that this car has with that is when you do go over the bumps, the car does get a little bit harder to control, which is kind of annoying, but it is just a problem with the car. On top of this, the car also has some decent customization, not the most ever, definitely not as much as the Obey 10F, but it does have a decent amount nonetheless. If there's one car that you guys buy from this list, I would say make sure it is the Grotti Italia GTO. There's a reason this thing isn't number one. It has absolutely fantastic performance and it is available on every generation of GTA. This thing is pretty awesome. Definitely pick it up if you guys got some money and you got some garage space. Anyway, guys, there you have it. That has been it for the top 10 coolest sports cars in Grand Theft Auto Online in 2022. If you guys enjoyed this video, a like is of course appreciated. If not dislike, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.